Hi! Welcome back. I'm Laurel. This is the Land of Kakiak where I am homeschooling my three boys using the Robinson curriculum as the base of our homeschool education. Today I wanted to show you how I am teaching my boys to keep track of their own work. So I love lesson planning, <laughs> like it actually brings me joy. I don't know, it's like peaceful. Um, I think I might like writing anything, like I enjoy writing. So, but to write with a purpose, it's like for something that's good for our family and that has um, benefits beyond just being personally enjoyable to me. It keeps us on track, it provides a record of um, our homeschool that I can refer to, um, so it's helpful for me for planning for the next kid or like to see where we've been and stuff. And, um, but also, yeah, I, I feel like I have a, a complete record of everything, literally every day that they have done, um, if I ever needed to produce that for some reason. So I just keep my planner, I, I made a video called my forever planner, so I keep it in a binder and um, I'll kind of show you first what I do and then how I try to translate that to my kids. So um, every week, right, I do a week's worth of planning for each student. And it's not, it's really not that much work. Um, like I said, I like it anyways. It keeps me, keeps me organized, like knowing where we are. Um, so I have that in front of me so I know what everyone's doing and I check it off, you know, the things that have been done at the end of the day. Um, and then I start my kids, I want to get them to where they, um, I don't have to constantly be telling them what to do or they're not asking me or wanting to look at my book or anything. So we want to get them to where they are writing in their own little planners, right? So, um, I just have every morning, um, right now, so William is seven, Ever is 11. So they have their own planners. I just picked these up from Walmart. I think one was like five bucks, one, one was like six bucks. Right? They're just the little ones. But it's good because you know, there's little calendars in there. It lets them know what the date is. So a week for them looks like that. So it's still, it's a two page spread. I give them, so they'll need a pencil and two highlighters for this method. So what we do is we sit down on in the morning, right? We usually start out, we just get our Bible time out of the way. Uh, not out of the way, but you know, we have our Bible time before we start like the school day. And then we sit down and we open up our planners and we say, let's what's going on today, right? Let's like gather our thoughts and we go over, I will just read to them like Everett, this is what you're doing. Um, and then I read it to William. So what he does is he writes down, right? So he's doing Saxon, he's doing two lessons a day right now, 87 and 88. And then we like to give ourselves, hi highlight the area that we're gonna check off. You know, this one didn't give you a check off spot, but it's just easier for their eye. So I, I try to train him to um, write things in a vertical list from, you know, a priority there and there and try to keep them I mean I coached them like keep it lined up this is just gonna be easier for your eye to follow your eye to see and find what you need especially with that uh, highlighter on there your eye can see where the next place to go is and then you can just check it off William's doing the same thing this is his first year with a planner prior to that I just had these little like from the Dollar Tree little uh, spiral notebooks and then we write their name on them and we would just I would just write a to-do list in that in the morning real quick for him because I wanted him to get in the habit of checking stuff, something off. So we did that for kindergarten and first grade. Is he got a to-do list and then he um, he got to check them off or cross it off. But now he really wanted to do, he wanted his own planner. He's like into it. He loves it. He loves crossing off the days. Right, so they'll, the kids will like cross off the days and stuff. I did give him some right now instructions here. So the reason they have two highlighters is because so they've got one highlighter to um, highlight their checkoff boxes for this one and then um, they've got a second color because the first thing that you do like wrote, I wrote out some instructions for them here 
says, number one, check what didn't get done yesterday and highlight. So like you can see on the, this day, he didn't get to his anatomy and he didn't get to his spelling when he didn't read, he didn't finish his reading all the way to page 390. So he highlighted those first because whatever is highlighted, you know, is going to have to go onto the next day's list, right? So if that's the first thing we do is we highlight what was missed. Okay. Now we go through, um, those today's stuff and we add in what didn't get done yesterday. And I just like, if it was spelling, you know, then I just make sure that it says to do two days worth of spelling, you know, on this list. Um, something like anatomy, we don't do that every day. We're doing a, we're in a science unit right now. We do that like two days a week. So he can just tack on anatomy. It's going to be the very last thing on the list because we always make sure we're getting our three R's in before we do any extra stuff. And, you know, and since like reading, he didn't read to page 390. We just, um, he just put his reading. He made sure that he was getting up to page 419. We're like, well, you're just going to have to have that much more reading, you know, today. Yeah. So that's why this two color system works really well for us. And they just, kids just like highlighters. Like they just really like highlighters. So, um, they have, oh yeah, here's, I found one of the, these little spiral. Notebooks. So yeah, I'd get one of these little spiral notebooks and like label it with their name. And then, uh, I would put a to-do list in here that they can just check off. Right. So, but when, even before that, so like Bo is in preschool, right? He's four. So while we're doing our planning meeting, he is sitting down, he sits down and it's time for him to work in his giant coloring and activity book. And I do, I just like bookmark his page and he opens it back up. Like he's been coloring, I think he did, he's been doing this page for like two days. Cause so I'm like, you didn't finish it. You didn't do the ground. You didn't do his little lunch box. You know, uh, so he did like brother bear one day, then he was just did the school bus the next day. And that's as far as he got before time was out, uh, time was up with the planning time. And then we just mark it and that's what he's working on. Right? So, so this is how I'm training up from littles to big kids to keep track of their own planners. So they need to be start, you know, right in like thir like four years old, he's sitting down and he's working in a book. We're all sitting down and working in a book. That's all he knows, right? This is what he's gonna do while we're doing planning time. So I tell him, good job, you know, when it's done, move on. Step two would be, you know, five, six year olds, give them a to-do list. And if you are just, if, even if your child is older and you're just trying to get them, you're like, yeah, I think I do want them to do a planner. I would just start with the to-do list in a little book or something like this because, so they just get in the habit of checking things off and like, you can have a little accountability meeting at the end of the day where this is how I do it with Everett. Like I'm looking in the big planner. Did you do this, 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 and this? And he's like going through his list. Yes, 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 yes. And, uh, I'm like, show me like, cause sometimes there's things I want to check. Um, and let me see your chapter summaries. You know, let me, let me see Let me look at your spelling list. I want to see what, you know, uh, sentences you came up with, with those spelling words. So, um, and we do catch, there's a good amount of stuff that sometimes gets, um, you know, oh, they get kind of confused or missed. And so I do think that, you know, Everett's in sixth grade, he still needs a little bit of oversight. So we're just slowly, we're getting them in the habit first, you know, with the coloring of just sitting down and working, right? Not being, you know, it keeps them from interrupting us. And I mean, it didn't, it wasn't smooth right away. I had to be like, we're doing a planning meeting. I need you to, I need you to color that school bus. You know, that's your assignment. And then we go to little spiral books for to-do lists and they may like to try to write something in there, which is fun. And then up to their keep a job of their own planner with the two highlighter method and um, with a little bit of oversight, like an accountability check-in at the end of the day. And then I'm hoping, you know, here in a year or so that I won't have to do that so much. I can do an accountability check-in at the end of the week, you know, like on Sundays when we do our like vocab tests and spelling tests and stuff, you know, or maybe on Friday so that if they miss something, they can do it over the weekend. But, um, yeah, so that's how I'm training them up in, um, the expectation of getting themselves prepared for the day and getting a plan in mind and, um, 
know, starting to like work into priority, you know, like what, what's the most important. Like we always do the three R's. We do math, reading, writing, you know, in that order. Um, and of course, Bible comes before everything because that's the center of our life. And that's really where we want, you know, our best, our best to be given first in the, in the morning, um, our best energies to the Lord and thinking about what he wants for us too. So that is how I'm training them up. Uh, what do you do? do? Do your kids do like, do you have any accountability with them, with their work or how do you keep track of them? Or do you just hope that they're doing it all? And, um, yeah, I'm just wondering how other people do it. This is just how I do it. Okay. Talk to you soon. So if you want to, you can use those little um, sticky notes to, you can mark each, you can make one for each month if you want to, um, so you can easily flip to it and find it. Like if you want to make one for October, right, because that's kind of hard. And you, can, and you can attach them to the side so they stick out from the side too. Look at that storm. And then you can take a big one and just mark. I always like would put a sticky note and mark my current week so I could just flip open to it all the time. So if you guys want to make any labels, I'm going to give you like 10 minutes to go through your planner and label it how you like it. How, if you'd like to label months, what you want to use to mark your current week. And then I'm going to have you guys open up to this week. And we're just going to fill out Friday and Sunday of this week in the weekly planner, okay? So go ahead and do your labels and we'll be back together shortly.